still have memories of going to the arcade when I was 12, 13, 14 years old. I guess I would have been in about grade two or something. Playing it on Super Nintendo. You'd press so many buttons. In elementary school, I dressed up like Scorpion for Halloween, right? I was running around the house like, get over here. The first time you do a fatality, you'll never forget that because you're going, oh my God, oh my God. Favorite of all time, the spine rip. Of course, that's up too. I think Kung Lao is one of the coolest fatalities. Finish it. <laughs> that's one of them, right? I remember my parents weren't too happy with me playing that game, so I would sneak and play it late at night. And now look at me, Mom. I knew it. It's all real. If you look at the evolution of the games, the stories that have come in the last couple of games are far more expansive and far more wide-ranging and layered than just its tournament. So I looked across the board at what's new and then what's classic and really tried to balance those things up. Simon's mission statement for this movie aligned with my mission statement from day one. We want to elevate the bar on this. We want to make a real emotional story. But at the same time, we wanted to give the fans what they wanted. The undoing of the prophecy has begun. It can't just be all the drama. It can't just be the stunts. People really want to see the heads go splat. And that's the bottom line. Humans are weird creatures. Knife. Flawless victory. This is seeing something that I've been passionate about my whole life finally come to the screen. For the fans of the game, there are so many things that we have sought to hold on to. The spirit of the game. Get over here! We really care about the fan base, and I've always talked about respecting the material. It was just constantly trying to push and push and push to feel as real as possible. You've got real locations with beautiful cinematography with these costumes. It starts to have a real beauty to it. If they want to fight, let's give them one. Hey, it's Lisa, the 1980 film Drunken Master made six million at the Hong Kong box office. It was a star-making role for lead actor Jackie Chan, but it nearly cost him an eye when a fighting stunt went wrong. Chan's opponent was so shaken up by the event that he refused to film any more takes. Okay, now click here below to subscribe or on the side for more great content.